How to reduce conflict and build better relationships. How to succeed with individuals remarkably simple ways to engage, influence, and motivate almost anyone have you ever had a conflict, misunderstanding, or disagreement and wondered why things escalated the way they did. Well, I'm about to explain why that happens. So what colors is the beach ball? Well, from your perspective, it's red, yellow, and orange because that's what you see. However, what's really interesting is that from the beach ball's perspective, the colors are actually blue, green, and purple. I am looking at the exact same thing as you, but I see something entirely different. You may see red, yellow, and orange, but I see blue, white, and green. So perhaps one of the things we need to recognize is that people can actually see things differently and both be correct, therefore, how can we build stronger relationships? How can we reduce conflict? I'm about to show you how, so why don't you think of someone with whom you'd like to build a better relationship and possibly reduce conflict? It could be a customer, a colleague, or even a loved one. Here's the first of four questions I'd like you to consider. What's going on in their world right now? If we're not careful with our communication, from my perspective I only see blue, white, and green, but am I taking the time to see their side of the beach ball? What are their concerns? What are their requirements? What are their immediate concerns? I've been picked up by a taxi driver in Dublin, and the first thing I thought when I saw him was flipping miserable sod. I know that's harsh, but that's how he came across. I sat in the taxi with him and asked him a question. I said, busy day? He replied, yeah, but I've been in the hospital with my daughter all morning. So that customer, colleague, or loved one, have you taken time to consider what is going on in their world right now? Is the second question. What's important to them at this time? Does this person need a good listening ear, some support, some time alone, or do they just need to feel that they are being understood by you? I've spoken in 36 countries to date, and no one has ever said to me, Paul, you can never have too much encouragement in life, so perhaps what's most important to them at this time is a bit of encouragement to feel valued. What is happening in their world and what is important to them at the moment? Here's question number three, am I listening to understand or listening to defend? You want to tell me your side of the beach ball, but if I'm not careful, I'll interrupt you and say, but you see, I've learned this with my wife, who is an awesome business partner. There are times when she needs to sit me down and give me some feedback, and if I'm not careful, I'll be listening to her while building the case for the defense. The gift of the pause is actually pressing pause and allowing space for the other person to speak. Listening to understand does not mean listening to agree. Once I understand your side of the beach ball and where you're coming from, perhaps you'll be more receptive to hearing my side of the beach ball as well. Here's your fourth and final question. Have I clearly communicated my perspective? From my perspective, it was obvious that the beach ball was blue, white, and green. However, it's possible that I'm assuming that because I can see it so clearly, others can as well. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for daily updates. See you tomorrow.